Hey there, this goes out to the Aries. This is Angie with Feisty Butterfly Tarot, and today we're going to take a look at what's currently going on with you, what might be coming up in the next week or so, and also what might be underlying or influencing things that might be going on that you might not be seeing. So we're going to take a look at that. Um, we're going to start with the uh, Rider Waite. Um, I pulled this card. This is called Space, and this is from the Sacred Earth Oracle. And this is just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And it makes me think of your energy because there's got all this fiery inspiration going on, swirling around, and then this cooling that needs to be happening. And I sense that that's going to really resonate with a lot of you. I, I hope that it does. I pulled this one out deliberately, which isn't in my nature, but I thought this is a good day for this. We're moving from the end of January into February. And I thought, okay, this is a time when a lot of people are experiencing transformative energies and moving forward. So we're going to take a look what's going on. And then we might get some more oracles pulled in a bit. So let's take a look and see what's going on for you, Aries. I'm going to shuffle up some cards. Once more, and then we're gonna call it good. Oh yeah, those are slick. All right, okay. So this is the current energy for you. Oh boy, okay. So you've had this time where you've been evaluating things this week. You're trying to determine whether to walk away or to stay. And this is an emotional up level. This is a challenge for you. The lovers in reverse indicates that um, Usually this is a commitment. This is to do with choices and moving forward. And if you're doing this, this might be a choice that you don't want to make. This might be a choice that's hard and difficult to make. Whether you um, continue forward on the course that you're at, you're still evaluating, or whether you emotionally have outgrown a certain situation. What do you need to choose? What love do you need to pay attention to? Is this the love of your heart calling you to pay attention to it? Or is this more like a romantic love? There's choices to be made right now. And there's a certain level of uncertainty. There's time for you to be thinking. Um, things aren't exactly clear for you yet, and you would rather that they were. So this is what's going on right now in this energy for you. We're going to take a look a little bit further. And we're going to use the giant monsterish deck for the week coming up. And this is the Rider weight, but it's just the extra big ones. I thought this might be enjoyable to look at and see how it goes for you. All right. So the week coming up. Again, guys, again, lots to pay attention to here. All right. So it looks like whatever this is about, this leaving, this emotional thing is big for you. Very, very big because we've got a repeat of this. So here we have the smug merchant, the happy contentment, the wishes fulfilled. Whatever this choice is that you've been having a difficult time making, it's definitely time to make that decision. And you kind of know what that is. In your heart of hearts, I think you do know. Take a little time. Get really clear so you feel good about this decision that you're making. Because it's definitely a time of leaving, a time of going for whatever you're feeling like is missing. You have these seven cups here. You have this guy walking away. He needs to leave. There's something more out there, but he just doesn't know what yet. There's this contentment. This is also reflective of being in your comfort zone a little too long. You have all nine of the cups here. So you are going to something new that you're not 100% sure about. You're a little bit scared, I would say. Some of you. Not all of you, but some of you. Some of you will see this and go, oh yeah, yep, totally. And you'll know right away what this is referencing. You'll know right away this is the direction I'm supposed to be going. Some of you don't have it that clear just yet, but it's about to become clear. You have this sun card coming out really big and strong. This is the card that's the happiest card in the deck. It's full of light and illumination. It's time to get moving. It is um, just full of abundance and happiness and joy. So don't spend too long over-evaluating or being in your head too much. It is time to move forward, okay? We're going to take a look again and see what might be influencing this that you're not aware of. So, ooh, sorry guys. Tricky shuffle there, we'll go this way for it. Okay. 
interesting. Okay, I'm listening, I'm listening. Okay. So the ones that wanted to pop out, we have the Three of Pentacles, kind of sideways. This is a need for teamwork. You have a lot of Pentacles going on right here. You have the Queen of Pentacles, you have the Seven that you're evaluating, and this Three. This Three is teamwork. This is somebody that's a benefactor, somebody helping you plan something. This could be a commissioned project. This is a work that you have the skill to do. You know how to do this. You've got the craft down. You've been hired or asked to step up and do this. So this might be very much to do with, the, with this. It might actually be literal work. Might be an opportunity in that way. Then you have the Queen of Pentacles. This is pragmatics. This was probably to do with here as well. So this is somebody that knows how to balance things financially, knows how to make things work, knows how to stretch the budget if they need to, or where the various areas that are in the tangible physical 3D need adjusted, need addressed. Okay. That's a knowledge, a working knowledge there. Then you have the world. This is the world coming out. This is a cycle ending. It came out like this. It doesn't mean that you're not protected. It means you are protected, but you're scared and there's a little bit more that you have to do to finish up these minor details before you can move forward. Definitely, this is a choice about moving forward for you guys. Space is necessary. And this is not um, just space and clear open spaces in your home that will calm you. It's going out there and taking the time to get your mental space, your head space clear. Taking time to be very aware and tune into the intuition. You have the moon here and the sun here. There is soul work that needs to be done to help you get this illumination and help you move forward. Okay. All right. We are going to take a look at the Kyle Gray deck that is the Keepers of the Light. We're going to see if there's any other information that might be pertinent or helpful to you at this time. To help you to remember this read and maybe help you kind of think things through in the next week coming up for you. Okay, this is what we have. We have Lord Ganesh, infinite abundance. Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. What have we talked about? Okay, then you have to this side, Mother Mary, love and peace. Let go of the need to be right. Don't be afraid to leave. Whatever the situation is, if you are being called to leave, then do. Don't be afraid to move forward if this is something that your heart has desired to move forward with. All right? Understand where that is and take it how it resonates best for you. Choose peace. Mother healing is possible at this time. So this could be um, situational wounds from the past. This could be um, maybe inadequacy or feeling like there's lack either with you or with your situation and understanding that there is healing possible at this time, understanding that you are enough and it is time for you to move forward. You do have the knowledge. You do have the guides, the protection, the divine looking out for you at this time. And then you have holy amethyst, divine alchemy, moving beyond the current challenges and focusing on what you desire. I think you're very clear on what you desire. It's just moving forward, focusing on that. I don't think it's a lack of knowing. I think it's more um, the movement part that needs to happen. You have the horse ready to ride and move forward. You have the guy ready to leave the emotional space where things feel like they're missing. This is the time to move forward. And this also calls to water. I mean, for somebody that's very fiery in their energy, this is a tricky time, but it is time to call in the crown chakra. It's time to call in the divine to make your plans and move forward and know that you'll be supported in them. Okay, that is what I have for you this week. Let me know how it resonates. Like, subscribe, tell a friend, come again. Okay, bye guys.